Shazia says, I want to know about Surah Al-Kahf, Ayah 80 and 81. Why Hazrat Al-Khidr, alayhi salam, killed the boy? Allah knows everything, so Allah changed the heart of that boy. Why it's necessary to kill him? Um, please explain. First of all, Al-Khidr had three incidents with Prophet Musa, peace be upon him. One was with the ship that he made a hole in it. Two was with the child that he killed. Three was with the wall that was about to fall and he fixed it. In the three incidents when he explained why he did what he had done to Musa, peace be upon him, if you read the Quran, in the incident of the boat or the ship, he said, فَأَرَدْتُ أَنْ أَعِيبَهَا I wanted to defect it. So this was of his own ishtihad probably. He thought of doing it on his own. And that was a good thing. Because otherwise, the soldiers would have confiscated the ship and taken the whole thing. By damaging it a little bit, they thought it was defected, they let it go, and the people, the poor people, kept, got to keep their ship. In the incident of the child, he used the plural pronoun including himself. فَأَرَدْنَا We wanted. That is Allah Azza wa Jalla and myself. So this was a revelation from Allah Azza wa Jal, and he may have chosen the way on his own. But it was revealed to him from Allah. When it came to the wall, he said, فَأَرَادَ رَبُّكَ he said, this is, I have nothing to do with this. It's Allah who wanted them to reach puberty and to extract the treasure by themselves. So whatever was done was clarified to us. Now, in the case of the child, Allah created him. And Allah Azza wa Jal with his infinite knowledge knew what he were capable of doing in the future if he were to live. So you would say, why didn't Allah change it? Why would Allah change it? Allah Azza wa Jal did what his knowledge and his inten intention and will dictated best. It is Allah Azza wa Jal who owns everything and knows everything. So Allah simply got rid of that boy to substitute his parents with someone who is way better, way du more dutiful and obedient and coolness to their hearts and eyes. Now, if you begin to explore the chapter of what if, you will never believe in the predestiny, good or evil. Because everything that happens, you would object and say, why didn't Allah do so and so? What if so and so happened? And this shows that the sixth pillar of the Iman has not been fulfilled. And this takes you out of the fold of Islam. Six pillars of Iman. If you don't fulfill them, you're not a Muslim. Even if we see you as a Muslim, we treat you as a Muslim, on the Day of Judgment, you'll be taken straight to hell. And to billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rusuli. To believe in Allah Azza wa Jal, in His angels, in His books, in His messengers, in the Day of Judgment and in the predestiny. Good or bad? So be careful.